Welcome to Social Studies Samurai. In this video, we'll show you how to use a data spreadsheet to quickly create a map using Google My Maps. Let's say you come across a source like Worldometer, which is actually reliable because of the sources they use, but it's got all this data and especially a really huge, useful looking data table and you want it, but it's embedded in the website. It's not difficult to get this data into a spreadsheet and we'll show you how. Before we begin, here are some things that we should be thinking about. Uh, the first is, why take data and put it into a map in the first place? Well, many people are visual learners, and when we look at maps, it gives us a geospatial sense of trends and patterns that are happening in the world. And that might give us some idea of what problems exist out there, and it, it could be a starting point from how to solve those problems. Think of your purpose. Are you trying to compare information? Are you trying to persuade somebody that there actually is a problem? Are you trying to just uh, give information? What's, why are you making this map? And think about your audience. Is this for a class presentation? Is it for um, your class for an activity? Maybe it's for politicians locally, or maybe even your school administration. You wanna show them that here's a problem in our area, like there's not enough water fountains or we don't have enough public toilets. You can use that map for a specific audience. The quality of data. This is ridiculously important. Uh, you want to be using sites like the Center for Disease Controls and Prevention or the World Health Organization or organizations and universities and institutions that use this kind of data because it gives authority to your data because it's reliable. Quality of data, can't say enough, way, way important. When you create your map, Make sure you're giving a balanced view, especially when you're talking about topics that might be negative, you know, like conflict and climate change. Let's be fair and show these things are happening all around the world. Um, and, and let's avoid negative stereotypes as much as we can. And your citations and credit. Make sure you give credit. If you use images and videos in your maps, you want to be sure the people that made these things that you're using get the credit for the work that they did. The data that we'll use will allow us to create a map like this so that we can see different kinds of data around the world. And of course we can share and collaborate with other people. And when you do share with the world, this is what people are looking at. Getting a snapshot of big data, but in small chunks. We're going to start with Worldometer. Uh, in spite of the advertisements that you see, um, it uses reliable sources for information, such as the World Health Organization, Johns Hopkins University, and other respectable institutions and organizations that can be deemed reliable. We're going to come to this URL in a moment. So I'm going to create my Google Sheet in Google Drive. I've already come down to the folder that I want to use. I'm going to click New, and I'm going to go down to Sheets, and I'm going to choose a blank spreadsheet. Now I want to highlight my very first cell, type the equal sign and the word import, and in this list that you get, choose import HTML. Then you're going to copy all of this information, and you're going to put it up here, and make sure you keep that equal sign. Then you're going to go back to your website. So now I'm going to copy the URL of my website and go back to my table. Here where I have my URL, you want to highlight and simply paste the proper URL for the table you want to use. And over here where you see the number one, in our table, the table was the first one on that particular web page. So I'm going to change that to one. If you have a website that has multiple tables, say it's the third table down that you want to use, then you would simply type three. Wikipedia pages are a little bit difficult because you have tables on the right side as well as in the main body, so you might have to play around a little bit. All you have to do is hit enter, wait for it to load, and now you've got your data spreadsheet. Go up and change 
the name and I'm going to put the date. Now I have my data spreadsheet here, so it's time to make my map. There are different ways to create my maps. One is to go up in Drive to the New button, go down to More, and choose Google My Maps. Let me remind you, your IT administrator must activate Google My Maps if you don't see it here. Tap on that, and it's going to open a map. So now that we have a map, we're not going to worry about all the details yet. We want to import all that data. So you simply click Import, and if you want, you could upload a CSV or an XLSX file or whatever, but we have ours in Google Drive, so I'm going to click Google Drive, and then I'm going to type the name of the file. There it is. I'm going to click that. And now here's the important thing. All this data, all these columns will go in. You have to check the country because my maps must read a location. You'll get that blue button continue and you have to do the same thing. Click country and it might say state, province or whatever. It could be location. Click finish and wait for it to load. So now we have a whole heck of a lot of information and when we tap on a pin we can get all of the details based on that sheet. Now we can do things like change the map title, add a description, and save it. Let's say I have more data that I want to compare with. Well, here I have an influenza data set. So all I have to do is go to my map and click add layer. For this one, I want to change the title and save it. And I'm going to click import. I already have it in Google Drive. So I'll type the first few letters and there's my data set. I tap on that. Once again, I choose the location in this case, country, area, or territory. I hit continue, do the same thing, click finish. The problem is all my information has blue pins. So what I want to do is go down to where it says all items, mouse over, click my paint bucket, and then I'm going to choose a different color that contrasts the other data set. That's looking pretty good. If you want to collaborate, click share, put the name of the person in, maybe send them a message, and click send. Also, if you want to change your share settings, click change, make it public on the web, anyone with the link, you choose, click save. When you're finished, click done. And remember, you probably want to preview it before you do all that. You can tap on specific pins and scroll to see the information. Or you can go to the drop down menus and tap on specific places to see that information as well. If you want to go back and edit, just click edit or go back to your other tab. Thanks for watching the video. If you're a student or a teacher in subjects like history, geography, government, economics, check out some of the other videos. The mission of this channel is to help students build skills and teachers build their toolkit. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on the web at socialstudiesamurai.com. Hope to see you again.